Welcome to the Catholic Dadcast by Rich Poontang, where we break down all things dad from a Catholic perspective. Now more than ever, we need dads to step up their game. Gentlemen, buckle up and get ready for battle. What's up, brothers? Rich Pintang, host and founder of the Catholic Dadcast, coming at you with another bonus session of Wednesday Wisdom in a very bright and sunny day here in Southern California. I'm coming at you with some brotherly love today. I'm just going to tell you right up front, I'm, I'm addressing, I think, an item that I have yet to get someone to step up and share what type of success they've had overcoming the subject of lust, temptation, and pornography. So that's why I've stepped up to be brave enough to share with you what I'm hoping is only going to be a 10 minute conversation. But forgive me if it happens to be longer, because I think this is just some tough love that some of you guys need to hear. The reason this came up was uh, I happened to see uh, a post uh, from a, a, I believe it might have been a husband or it was a Catholic man who was very courageous and honest in sharing that he he had started to look at um, different photography and pictures that um, have led him into temptation and lustful thoughts. For others, I know that it's the other end of the spectrum. It might have led you guys to watch videos or go to websites that you know you're not supposed to go to. And I just hope that you guys, as you hear these three different items that I think are going to help you with the, the temptation of, of doing and acting on these, these types of behaviors and tendencies. I ask you to just be honest with yourself. From me to you, from brother to brother, I, I think it's it's actually pretty pitiful to see how society pushes this stuff in advertisements and social media, in commercials. You know, um, I, I can barely watch a sports program without feeling like we've taken such a different turn from what used to be unacceptable is, is acceptable. And I just want you guys to be honest with yourselves because if what I'm telling you sounds like you, then more than likely either you or you need, or someone needs to share this with someone that maybe needs to hear this tough love. I think a lot of this comes from being bored. I think a lot of it comes from curiosity. I think there's a, a certain sense of lacking a little bit of love and attention or affirmation from your significant other. For some of you, you just feel like, ah, I deserve this. I get a five minute break, 10 minute break. No one's looking. No big deal. Everyone does it. I, I guarantee you that some of those phrases you've heard or you've heard that in conversation with other guys. To me, it's pretty sad. To me, I pity that we can we could be so weak as men. So I'm going to digress from that. I know temptation is real. I know that's the, what the devil wants. I know that lustful thoughts will consume you more than you think. And, and for some, it's going to lead you down a path of pornography that is completely rampant in today's society. So these three things, I just want you to keep in mind. If you feel like these three things are not doable, I want you to be honest with me and say, 
I pass this over to a friend. He thinks he thinks it's crazy. These are three things you can do as soon as this Wednesday Wisdom bonus session is over. As soon as it's over. First and foremost, the devil is going to continue to tempt you. He's going to allow you to excuse your behavior. So what I suggest is you hold on to the weapon of choice. Hold on to a rosary at all times. Driving at your desk. When you're out in the community. More specifically, where you know you most commonly find yourself with these kind of lustful tendencies. I don't think you're going to grab onto your mouse or click on a page if you're holding the rosary. And if you do, then you're probably in deeper water than you know. Hold on to the rosary. Keep a weapon on you at all times. That temptation is going to come. But this is the way to help you develop self-control. And this is the way that you can protect your mind. The rosary. Number one. Number two, confession. The most underutilized sacrament. Go to confession. Come clean. Leave cleansed. And really offer this problem and this sinful behavior to the Lord. I know for most men, it's hard to suck up our pride, but I think most of us are just scared. You, you're scared. You're scared to admit that you've engaged in this behavior. The beauty is God is a forgiving God. He's given Catholics an opportunity to confess to a priest who will admonish you for your sins, will allow you to do penance, and you can go about your day. Imagine going to confession and, and really asking, asking God to take, to walk with you and forgive you for what you've done thus far. So instead of scrolling or going to a website, replace it with a daily rosary. Imagine you having to face Mother Mary every day and say, yes, Mama, I've done a good job. Thank you for leading me away from those people or that website. Imagine having a picture of Mother Mary on your phone, on your screensaver, on your computer. Do you think that you, you really have the audacity to do and go to one, any of those places? If the Queen of Heaven is there looking at you? Do you think that if you had a small statue of Mother Mary on your desk. Do you really think you're going to go to a website that you, you should really be ashamed of? Do it. Because right now, I, I bet you the devil's telling you, nah, you don't need to do that. You're, you're either letting the Holy Spirit talk to you or you're letting the devil convince you that what you're doing is okay. Whatever I can tell you is use confession and replace that behavior with a daily rosary. So don't run from the, don't run from the problem. Don't run and, and be a coward about it. Kneel and face it. Kneel and face it. That That in itself is an act of submitting to allowing 
God to work in your life and lead you down a different path. Not the path that you want, but the path that he wants. It's his will over our will. So that's number two, confession. Number three, weekly adoration. Truly spending time in front of the Blessed Sacrament, in the presence of Jesus, about speaking honestly, telling him that you want him more than you want to watch some cheap picture or video of God knows what. Let him guard guard your mind and fill you with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Help him f give you opportunities to fill, instead of temptation, fill you with, with virtue and to heal you of, of an addiction and or sickness that has gone on way too long and it's getting you nowhere. It's never enough. It's, it's such temporary happiness. And for you to choose that over Jesus really tells you how much you do need Jesus. So when you're there, you tell Jesus, Jesus, I trust in you. When you have that sinking feeling or you can't get that out of your mind, what you saw, or watched, Jesus, I trust in you. You have to acknowledge at some point that I do trust in you. The temptation is going to be there. So hold your rosary. Go to confession and replace that behavior with a rosary. And lastly, weekly adoration that will start to cleanse you and allow Jesus to talk with you, put the right types of things in your mind, and allow the Holy Spirit to walk with you away from this sickness and this addiction. Temptation, lust, and porn, the devil loves it loves to insert it, makes you easy targets. Don't make yourself an easy target. I know you guys are better than this. I don't believe it belongs in your lives. I think he created you for something so much greater and don't carry that weight anymore. Take these three steps. Fight it at all costs. And just remember, you're a child of God and he will not abandon you. Put yourself in Jesus' hands. Just prepare for battle. He will not, not let you down. God love you guys. Peace out. To God be the glory.